after filing for chapter 11 bankruptcy this stock had a rally we're going from cents all the way up to 406 it was literally pennies and dimes and nickels and quarters and cents and it reached dollars the 406 what a rally the bulls definitely dominated this one towards the end of the week on this stock but obviously people started to uh sell and there's a sell-off here you can slightly see how it started to fall and it picked itself back up um but let's go ahead and not focus so much on all this information because it could be confusing we want to go ahead and focus on what is the information that we are being told by the charts to see what's going to happen on monday um this is a 30 minute chart frame of this stock and also um, i want us to go ahead and take a look at this right here 257 market close well the market closes at 4 p.m and uh these are the last couple hours of this stock uh this is after hours as well so the market ends at 8 p.m so don't get confused with this 257 and the 290 because the 290 is really the last closing uh price at eight o'clock on how this market uh finished on friday so let's go ahead and look at it 290 was the closing price and we have a few things to keep in mind here to see what's going to happen we have the resistance level the screen line support level red line and here we are looking at the 50 day moving average and let's start with that one it's 203 the 50 day moving average this moving average lets us know that if it gets pretty close to this number the bears might start to take over on this one. I'm not saying that it will be that way and that it is going to be that way because anything could happen. I'm going to be honest between the support level and the 50 day moving average. There is a lot of uncertainty because of that area. There's a lot of uncertainty for sure, but definitely a number to keep in mind. 203. This is something you want to keep a close eye on. But let's go ahead and look at the support level. The support level is above the moving average. So there is some space and time to make decisions accordingly um, with whatever's going on with this stock on Monday. But if this stock is to get close to this number, I'm not saying that you should hold or you should leave and sell. I'm just saying keep a close eye on it because like I said, there's a lot of uncertainty in between these two. Um, because this stock could either fall if it falls around that area or drop and spike because a lot of people will go ahead and take advantage of that discount and uh, buy in and bring this stock right back up. Here is what the bulls are definitely working towards and that is 322. That is the resistance level. If this stock was to break through from 290 to 322 and it breaks above that area, the bulls are definitely taking this stock um, in the direction that they want it and taking the bears uh, to to really come up front and, and work harder on, on bringing it down. But the bulls are definitely, definitely going to be in control on that one. If they can break through that resistance level, then the resistance level will definitely become the uh, new support level and then I would say up here in this area, 406, 407, 405, anything above uh, 322 for sure could become um, the next resistance level. The reason why I'm going off of 406 is because it was the highest that it reached last time, but that could be the next resistance level and our support level will be 322. The moving average as well is something that moves with the the stock so if this stock was to rise and go forward you'll definitely see it moving this way as well um in this direction with the um chart here that i drew i drew a green line here just seeing how this uh stock is trending itself and what it can happen to it obviously the uh, moving average will go up with it as this stock moves up and it can go down as well with it depending on how this stock 
either moves down or moves up but for the most part let me remove all those lines and go back to where we were these are the numbers I definitely want you guys to focus on and that would be 231 232 um, opening you're obviously gonna see when the market opens but it's a good number to keep in mind to see which uh, way it's going and then obviously our resistance level uh, to keep an eye on this is what the bulls want this is what the bears want and this is definitely gonna tell you who's in control bears or bulls 203 but um, definitely keep those numbers in mind 322 232 and um, 203 203 moving average support 232 and 322 resistance and we'll see how this goes how it plays out I mean a lot of things are possible uncertainty here can't really tell you I'm not saying that because it falls here it's gonna fall below and I'm not saying because it breaks resistance it's gonna stay above but key indicators are here uh, pretty pretty clear to us here it's showing and um, let's see how this one plays out on Monday thank you for watching